So on our ride, we came across this van and bundles and bundles of bear grass that they've been most likely illegally harvesting and trashing the forest here. You can see more bundles of bear grass under here. And over here, I don't know if they're nearby or if they're harvesting or they heard us coming and they've hidden. We'll turn this over to the rangers. Here are the bundles of bear grass that they're stealing. I've heard of this happening. I've never seen it before. But they obviously know what they're, they're doing. There is tons of it all out through the forest. So this situation is, uh, for me, has been kind of a moral dilemma. When I when I initially came across this van and um, I was looking, I'm like, oh, who are the, well, why would these people come up here and make all this mess? And I started to see what was going on. And I, and I started to realize that it was a uh, bear grass harvesting uh, operation. Uh, my immediate my immediate instinct was to uh, document it. I mean, I took photos and videos and GPS pinned the location. And actually, we we cut our trip short and uh, went down on the road because I I thought yeah, I'm going to take this down to the ranger station and so that these people can be caught um, and punished because what they're doing this is wrong. I, I hate to see this. I think the I guess the thing that made me the most angry was the mess, uh, leaving of the garbage and all of that, more than harvesting the forest products. And it was a so it was a long drive back, and we were heading back, and and obviously you know it was getting late enough that I knew I wasn't going to make it back to the ranger station. Um, I, I really started to think about this, and and um, this is where my dilemma came in. Um, and I don't know what the right thing to do is. It's I guess it's it's hard for me um, to pass judgment on someone who is going out and um, maybe there's not anything going on. Uh, they've got, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you can get in a bad spot and you get a felony on your record. You're not necessarily a bad person and it, it brands you for life and you don't have a lot of options. I, I've known guys like this that couldn't get a job, couldn't get a driver's license. And, and it, I mean, they had to make a living. They had to provide for their families and for themselves. And, and, you know, it meant it, it, it basically they resorted to menial work, you know, uh, going out and cutting firewood or, you know, who knows, who knows? I mean, maybe bear grass is one of those examples. And so as I was thinking, I mean, I almost had kind of a change of heart on the way back because it's hard to fa fault someone uh, that's willing to go out and, and to really um, um, bust their butts because uh, I, I can imagine that collecting all of that is not easy. I mean, it's it's. It's, I, I don't know how lucrative it is. Apparently, it's got to be worth something. I think there are a lot of unscrupulous um, landscape supply companies. Um, obviously, there's a black market for this bear grass um, that are willing to support this industry. But I, I thought it's hard for me to fault someone not knowing their situation and not knowing how desperate they are that is willing to go out and to work hard uh, to provide for themselves versus someone uh, who uh, just gives up and uh, takes, the, I guess, the legal route um, and, and gets on um, government assistance. And I was just contrasting, you know, Portland, Oregon, for example, it used to be such a wonderful city. In the last 10 years, it has, um, it's just, it's, go, it's going downhill rapidly. It's, uh, the local government has allowed folks to, you um, put up tents and camp on the streets and 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 it's a tough call because there you know those there's folks that are have mental problems there's folks that are have suffering with drug addiction uh we've always had that but they've made it so inviting um and they've basically told the police uh, uh, to don't touch them don't enforce any laws you know don't don't uh, uh just leave them alone and that has drawn um these uh a lot of people that are unwilling to work and lazy people from all over the country because they know they have they can live in a harassment free place and it's just destroying the city and so I was thinking man how it's hard to go and try to uh, you know I guess it's hard to try to, to go and to clap someone in irons for yes should they be stealing bear grass no they shouldn't be stealing bear grass but uh 
uh, at least there, you know, it's the dilemma. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, it's the, it's the weekend now. And, um, you know, of course, you know, no one's going to be available to report it if I wanted to, uh, what, what is the right thing to do with this? Is it, to, just to leave it alone and, and, uh, stay out of it? Um, or should I, uh, get involved and should I, you know, make an effort to bring this to the attention to the, to, to the forest service. I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I guess maybe where, what is the responsibility we have? You know, what is, uh, what is the right thing to do with this? Um, especially not knowing the uh, situation from the folks they're doing. I, I, I just found it to be kind of an interesting moral dilemma. And, uh, I'd be interested here in the comments, what you guys think. Um, also remember, you know, have a heart too. It's easy to cast judgment on people when things are going well in your life, but really stop and think about it. And what if everything that you had that provided for your family was removed from you um, at no fault of your own? You know, what will, what would you be willing to do? How far would you be willing to go to put food on the table? Um, yeah, it's an inter interesting question. Let me know in the comments what you think. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.